Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing an update on my February no buy which is finally over and I also wanted to do a few other things like do my declutter final count and I also was putting myself through finish 22 products by spring which is slowly tucking along. I what I started to do was put a lot of things on my computer on a spreadsheet. So I wanted to first show you what I did here. So these are my finished 22 products. And you can see a lot of products are crossed out. And I added new ones into uh, this finished 22. So the update should be fun when I do it sometime uh, late March. And so as far as the declutter uh, series, I said I had said um, in a previous video that I want to keep on doing a declutter type series every six months or so, and that just I'm still feeling a little overwhelmed with my makeup collection, but not as much as uh, before my declutter series. And I wrote on my computer a list. I haven't written it, but it's just easier to look at the actual numbers this way. And I named it Makeup in Inventory March 2015, and I'm going to keep on going back to it. And uh, in regards to the stuff that I put in my toss box, I haven't gone back into it because I had, I made the mistake of doing that and I started pulling products back out and I was like, no, 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 this defeats the whole purpose. So I haven't looked back into it. What I have done is throw more products in there, which is always a good sign. Primers 3, concealers 27, face powders 20, blush 38, bronzer 7, blush and bronzer palettes, which, which is a new category. There's 5, highlighters 5, eyeshadow palettes 57, uh, eyeshadow singles 42, primers and bases 9, pencil eyeliners 48, gel cream liquid eyeliners 10, mascaras, that's a new one as well, 16, and that includes open and new. Uh, this actually includes every item that is open or open or new. Uh, mascaras 16, uh, which I just said, okay. Let's get back on track. Uh, lip balms, 19. Lip gloss, 14. Lip liners, I'm not sure the final count. I have 10 here, uh, but for some reason I didn't put it on this list. Uh, lipsticks, 146. So it's nice to look at this and see the actual numbers of products that you have because I could go, I, that makeup cabinet could be closed for days. I don't look through it. I don't pick stuff from it. And so it's nice to have this. I'm going to leave it here. Uh, in front of me so that I'm able to look at it and just uh, try to keep myself in check a little bit that way. So, for the no-buy, here is my no-buy wish list. And I don't know if you guys could tell, I started writing really nicely at the beginning, but then it just went like all like chicken scratch by the end of it. And I, I have too many products here to to read to you but I just wanted to make a note that this really helped me keeping a list of the products that I if I was watching a YouTube video and that's where this, this list is mostly comprised from is watching YouTube videos it was really helpful to write down the products on a list and I'm gonna be able to like look at it now and say do I still want this and there was one item on here or two actually two items um, that I told myself that I would let myself buy if I saw it and that, those were the L'Oreal uh, 50 Shades of Grey collection and the OPI 50 Shades of Grey because those are limited edition and I actually didn't see them during my no buy at all um, except for the 50 Shades of Sorry for the L'Oreal ones that I finally saw the other day. And I did get two that was still during February. But I said to myself that that was okay. But that was the only product. Now, does that mean that I only bought one product? No. Unfortunately, I bought a few makeup items that I'm going to show you. I'll show you now. Uh, and while, So, in regards to the list. The list making was a really good idea. Uh, and just because I wrote it down on here doesn't mean I would have bought it in my no-buy. There's some things that are are like you know the NARS luminous weightless foundation I I wouldn't have gotten that anyway but just these are just things this also includes things that are gonna go like on my Sephora wish list um I wouldn't have bought every single thing on this list that would have been nuts uh but for my no buy what I did buy was the L'Oreal 50 Shades of Grey which I had mentioned I got bad 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 gray a gray uh, 
glitter shimmery color and then this one is caution please and this is just a lighter gray so I got these two I, those two seem the most appealing to me and then this isn't really a makeup product but it's it's a makeup brush this is the Sonia Keshek large crease brush I already have a few of these I love this one and I don't have it in a new packaging so I next product is the Maybelline lash sensational mascara and I got the waterproof one I lived I learned and my friend Sandy here on YouTube she showed an Instagram picture of her wearing this and it looked amazing and the last few mascaras I've tried I've been really disappointed in so hopefully that one will be a winner then here's the wet and wild reserve your cabana another thing on my wish list and you really don't see these anywhere there it's always an empty slot wherever I look so I decided to get this during my no buy next item is my favorite night balm this is seal bigelow you get this at bath and body works this is amazing I it's only for nighttime because it's so thick I mean you could put a little bit on during the day but this is amazing stuff if you still see it at Bath and Body Works Bath and Body Works I would say give it a try it was wow I put that on my lips and they just felt so and the good the next item day that I picked up are a powder and foundation that I've just been seeing everywhere on YouTube it was just I could not get away from it I broke down and got it. I've just heard everyone, everybody loves it. So I was, I have to try it. So I got 105, which is natural beige in the foundation. And then the powder, I got 200 natural beige. Now I saw today I was at uh, Wegmans and they had natural buff. And I'm thinking maybe I should have got that one. But we'll see how this one goes. And those are the things that I got during my no buy. Now did I need those things? Absolutely not. Uh, but I... I always think of this phrase, uh, progress, not perfection. And while my no buy didn't go perfectly, I feel like it did okay. I don't know. I I want to be honest with you guys, and I want to show you the things that I did pick up. And if I do another no buy, I know that it can be doable. I Will I do another one? Not anytime soon, but this really put things into perspective that I don't need to get every single item that's at the drugstore or you know places like that because I have a lot of makeup in my collection it's not like makeup is going to disappear anytime soon and I just need to get the idea that I need this product out of my head uh what didn't help during my no buy <laughs> watching YouTube videos if I would give you tips and tricks to help your new no buy go smoother uh, definitely keeping a list. I think that's really important. You don't have to write write it on a piece of paper with a pen. You could, you know, use put it on your cell phone. I would do that many times and then just transfer it to this list. Uh, what, keep your YouTube watching to a minimal. Uh, really play around with your makeup. I was doing. I was on my finished twenty two product, so I kind of kept my makeup used to that but I did pull out several products from my makeup collection and you saw that product updates video I got to play around with my makeup so play around with your makeup Shop and I'm thinking stash. in the future if I pick up let's say a nail polish then I'll look through my collection and see see if there's one that I can get rid of so if I bring something in I take something out which I try to do with my clothes a lot or my shoes uh, because you know that we all have plenty of all those things. I'm not going to say that it was easy because it definitely wasn't. It was actually really hard to restrict myself in that way. And I hope that this was for the better. I I still, I think I'm still going to struggle, especially when I'm at my favorite store, Target, just because I think it just, the display catches your eye and you hear people talking about products and you want to try them out for yourself. I want to head in the direction of what's going to add something to my collection for and the better. another thing that made it easier, and I guess in my mind I planned it that way, I had gotten a couple of online orders. I had gotten mini boxes and something from Holt Look, which really when I got those things, I was able to kind of get that feeling I get when I get something new, uh, something pretty to look at, just... Uh, that helped me a lot, but that's not necessary. You don't have to order things before you start doing your no-buy, but that did help me. And it was just 
It was something else. You should have seen me when I was at Target or like, let's say Walmart. It, I had a, I, don't go into stores that you know are going to tempt you. That's another tip that I can give you. I mean, you know, we all have to go to the grocery store, uh, but don't go into the makeup section. That's just something that don't tempt yourself One last in that tip way. Is, what I did was I wrote on my calendar, I wrote NB, which just stood for no buy, and I would. Uh, it was fun to be able to, if I didn't buy anything that day, I would cross it out. And then uh, some people might hate it because they'll just be reminded of all the days that they have left to do no buy. But for me, crossing out the no buy each day was really, really fun. And I would put an X on the days that I didn't do so well. And that really helped so, me a lot. The no buy is over. I am very happy about that. That doesn't mean I'm going to start to go crazy and just buy every single thing that I see at the drugstore. I'm not going to restrict myself anymore but what I'm gonna try to do is just ask myself do you really want this do you really need this uh and you know in regards to me doing YouTube videos I want to do reviews for you guys on products that you're interested in as well so I I keep that in mind uh but it was hard but I highly recommend that you guys try it maybe not for a month maybe for a week two oh, weeks i've been watching weeks. this woman named amber f here on youtube and she's really big into product pan shopping your stash uh finishing products and i think she's on a no buy until november when sephora does like a big sale and everything and i'm just like bow down to her because i i couldn't do that i really really couldn't uh but that's all i wanted to update you guys on for now well, i hope you guys enjoyed it and it really was a good thing for me to try to do this no buy it wasn't perfect but i tried my best and look out for the haul later on this week Instead of buying makeup, I bought other things. So, uh, it's going to be a good haul. I feel like I have some cool things to show you. And before I sign off, it was definitely blue and black. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!